The regime's latest episode sees Elena taking back control, while her relationship with Zubak fractures badly. An acidic political satire with shades of succession, the regime casts Kate Winslet as Elena Vernum, the chancellor of a fictional nation. Elena's blend of insecurity and egotism over how she is perceived leads to the chancellor placing her faith in one of her soldiers, Herbert Zubak, Matthias Schoonerts. Their bizarre bond just places the regime's unnamed nation in more trouble, with Elena's cabinet soon plotting to oust the troubled Zubak from the palace. The regime episode 2 saw the chancellor's ministers set this in motion, which involves accelerating his ascent to power in hopes that Elena will tire of him. They falsely claim Zubak is a descendant of the foundling, the country's first settler. The third episode picks up months later, where there are already signs the soldiers' radical policies are wearing thin with the chancellor. By the end of the regime episode 3, big changes are in the air. Why Elena orders the Faban Corridor annexation. The Chancellor makes a move she has been planning for years. Kate Winslet as Chancellor Elena interrogating Emil Bardas in the regime episode 2. In the first two episodes, it becomes clear Elena wants her country to reunify with the Faban Corridor. This area is a noted sore spot for the Chancellor during the second episode, when speaking with U.S. Secretary of State Judith Holt, Martha Plimpton, about the country's rejection of a mining deal. During the first half of episode 3, the Chancellor fields herself being sidelined by Herbert, who is becoming more forceful in pushing his agenda through. Naturally, her cabinet is alarmed by this sudden development, but she ignores their issues, claiming the reunification will be cleaner. Elena claims the Faban Corridor annexation is a lawful one, while NATO is swift to condemn it. The regime's main character also ignores reports of human rights violations and dismisses concerns over sanctions or the stock market decline. She is very happy about one consequence of the invasion, it's put her back in the international news cycle. Herbert himself is not in favor of the Faban Corridor annexation plan, as he wanted to push through land reform that gave the land back to the people. He realizes Elena is pushing him away and that whatever infatuation she once had with him has come to an end. 7. The Chancellor and Zubak break up. Elena and Herbert's partnership is thoroughly finished. Kate Winslet as Elena and Matthias Schoonerts as Corporal Zubak looking intense in the regime. The regime episode 3's big centerpiece is a decadent victory party, where the nation's elite come together to celebrate the Faban Corridor annexation. Herbert is forced to wear a garish uniform at Elena's request and looks on in disgust about the excess of the celebration. He is particularly unhappy when the Irish comedian hosting the party makes fun of him during a stand-up set, with the crowd laughing at a visibly uncomfortable Zubak.